the heck happened to all my sheep? We got one that's alive. What the? <laughs> um. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back in. Back to Uncle Leo's farm out here on Stone Valley. Uh, crops are coming up decently right now. Look at that. We got, uh, yeah, we got crops coming up. And in fact, we're almost into harvest season, guys. Almost there. It's going to be right around the corner. Now, we've been working our sheep, keeping, t keeping track of all our sheep. In fact, guys, I've been... Well, I mean, look at the wool we've got here. I've been shipping wool like a madman, to be honest with you. Wool's been going back and forth to our uh, our fabric business that we've fired up. I, I, I'm actually making so much wool, it's it's kind of swamping them down there. Yeah, you might remember we're, we're trying to make, we're trying to make, well, prison garments. To eventually find a way to get uh, Uncle Leo out of prison is the, is the long-term goal here, guys. We'll see how we make do. Um, the, my problem is I'm, I've got all this wool, and I am making a ton of wool. But I, I just can't seem to get the garments made fast enough. Well, actually, it's it's twofold, you guys. I, I've only got fabrics. I don't even have the garments. Now, trying to get people to work here has been a bit of a struggle. Don't worry, don't worry, though. It's, you know what, I figure, you know, if you're like 8 to 6, I, you, you work great here. I don't know. They seem to want to work here. I think it's the small hands. Works out really well. And before you guys come at me with the child labors, listen, they want to work here. The, the parents are making them, make, making them work. What do I say? I'm just here. I'm facilitating. It could be a lot worse, really. I mean, they're just making me fabric from the wool. Is that that bad? I mean, they could be back here in the pen, shoveling manure and, and hay around. Ugh, you know what? We saved that for friends and family. Now, I got a couple problems we need to talk about today. And I've got solutions, I think, to all of them. This is going to be more like a show and tell kind of thing. Well, you can see my first problem, guys. Um, it's, it's raining and all my fabric that we just made. <sighs> the youngsters are not gonna be happy. Yeah, I need to. I need to take care of uh, a problem. I gotta fix this. We need. I've got. I've got a line on a, on a solution for this. But number two, I've talked with Uncle Leo, and we, you know what? He's he's pretty happy. He's kind of excited about this plan we got going on for him right now. But he also let me know a little bit more about something he had planned. I told you guys about this before. He, you know what? He had some extra property that they didn't know about when they raided his place, and. Uh, well, it just so happens there's an old factory there. Perfect, right? Yeah, guys, he was setting up a whole second farm area uh, that was, um, well, it had some questionable other goods. He wouldn't get into the details. You know what? Plausible deniability is always best in my mind anyways. Let's be honest here. But uh, I've got access to this, and I've already been there. We've already set up the factory, but there's something else he had there ready to go for me. I told him about the struggles we were having with that. Remember that pull behind combine? That big old pull behind combine? Yeah, it's a classic. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely a classic, but man, I don't really want to go through another harvest with that. So he may have just solved my uh, my dilemma in one fell swoop. Let me let me take it back here. Let's I'll show you the factory first. I'll show you this factory because you guys are gonna be like, what? Ooh, I'm driving a little fast here, lose the control of some of my fabric. That's okay. There we go. Right in town, and then right there. <laughs> He's got a fact little factory building. It was in rough shape, but you know what? We put uh, we put we put everyone to work, and uh, everyone but me, of course, and fixed it all up. And now it's looking good. You know what? That's what I've been spending my last couple months on, guys, is getting this up and running. And I think we're uh, we're pretty much good to go now. Just need to start making some fabric and start start sewing this. Uh, you know what? The kids love sewing. In fact, we got a little park right beside you guys. It's perfect. This is great. I, I don't care what you guys say. There we go. Get this all unloaded. Like I said, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? I think this is. This is just absolutely perfect. I think it's going to work out great. And the only problem is now I need to find a way to ship this. I mean, pulling into the prison with a flatbed and this old truck, I think might raise a few eyebrows. I'd show you around inside there, but you know what? The kids don't really like TV that much, so uh, I better not. But what I can show you is right here. So this little corner lot was what he was working on. This Quonset? Yeah, it belonged to him. He was getting things set up. Let's shut this off. Actually, you know what? Let's pull this over to the parking lot. We're going to park in front of the diner. Yep, yep. Shut down. Shut down. Thank you. We've got a Quonset sitting right beside us here. And, uh, well, you guys can see what's beside me, right? You guys see that. Take a look inside here. Let's pull this open. Unlock that lock. And, oh, yes. We've got an old New Holland combine in here. Like, does it... I it couldn't work out any better, I don't think. New Holland TR-95. I mean, it's a little old. But it's in really good shape. He has uh, cleaned this thing right on up. And it is spick and span. It's, it's like, you know what? It may have a few hours on it. 
But man, this thing is actually pretty amazing. It's This is going to make my life so much better for harvesting those fields, guys. We get into those fields with this combine. By comparison to that old pull-behind combine, I'm going to be done in no time. In fact, you know what? Harvest season is just around the corner. I'm actually going to drive this back to the farm right now. I had this thing fired up just the other day. Let's see. Everything looks like it's still good. Let's fire it up. Yeah, like, like it runs like a top. Um, let's just get this out. We're going to get the header on. And we're going to struggle with this. I'm going to try to get this home today in the rain because I got nothing else to do. Uh, the factories are all up and running right now. We'll get back, maybe take care of our sheep and stuff. But like I said, harvest season is just around the corner. Got the old header attached. Guys, this thing is amazing. I am, this is, I mean, I couldn't ask for any more than this. Let's close up this old shop so uh, the vagrants aren't getting in here, of course. I mean, we're going to have people live in this thing if we don't keep an eye on it, right? Ugh, don't want that. But uh, I think, guys, we're going to go up and around. We'll head up to the, up to the farm. It's a bit of a trek, but uh, we'll get her done today. Get this thing back home. And I got storage. I got enough storage at the farm for this, this little combine. And I think we should be good. I, I, this is this is going to be great. I'll make sure everything's up and running on it properly. But the, the hardest part for me right now is just going to be getting it home, to be honest with you, with this header. I don't have a trailer for it, so I do have to struggle my way home with it. Yep, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Ah, it's only a 24 footer. Should be fine. Uh, there's more than enough room on all the bridges. I just got to make sure no one, no traffic hits me, right? Anyways, guys, I'm going to get this thing home. I'll come back down, pick up the truck. And uh, I think in the next couple days here, we should be able to... Uh, oh, watch out for that car. Should be able to get into the harvest season. Oh, did I, did I hit that? Did I hit it? Oh, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. We should be able to get into harvest season right here, guys, and uh, start trying this. Finally getting some, some proper work done with this combine. Oh, that bridge, she looks a little tight. That's going to be... No, just close your eyes. It'll be fine. Close your eyes, chat. All right, guys. Well, something tells me this harvest is going to go a little bit better. You can see I was just checking in the field. Everything's looking good. We got uh, our barley fields ready to rock and roll. And the sheep are all looking good. You can see I've been out here feeding already this morning. And things are looking pretty good. You know what? I actually did some organizing. I know. It's not like me, but I, I did a little bit. You guys know what it was like before, right? I stacked them all nicely, but I must have put them too close to the fence. Oh! <gasps> I did, and the sheep have been eating them. But we are going to need to figure out a way to move this wool a little bit easier because that trailer is just, it's a its not great. We're still working on that, though. But this here is really what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. We finally got the, the new haul and going to get going today. And we've got, I mean, I, I think its I think we can retire the bull behind, guys. I'm, we don't, it's, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. But I, I don't want to suffer through that again. It's a lot of work. The TR-95? Not as much work. I think this is going to actually work. By comparison, this is going to be like a breeze. You know, we might even get some help uh, out here today. See if we can get a little bit of a little bit of assistance while we uh, harvest this field. Make a little bit of cash. Uh, it'll help our, our cash flow is not great right now. And uh, you know what? Maybe selling some wool might be an option because uh, like we're running. We're running the sweatshop. Did I say sweatshop? I mean, we're running the uh, the fabric shop as hard as we can. While we're waiting for some help, you know what? Maybe we'll do a quick couple headlands. We'll see how we make do. And I can run over and grab the truck out of the shed. But uh, let's get this new Holland fired up. I mean, we've, we've done some tests with it. Everything looks like it's running as good as we'd expect. So I can't really complain. Let's, uh, let's fire this bad boy up. Let's, uh, let's, do a couple, let's do a couple end rolls here and we'll see how she looks. Drop that head down. And away we go. In, into the field we go. Perfect. Nice and easy. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at looking good, looking good, looking good. You guys know it's always a little bit dusty out here, but this ain't too bad by comparison. I mean, the that old pull behind, it was really making, uh, it was pulling up a lot of earth, I think, and just beating it around. So this here, we'll take this all the time. Field's actually looking really good. I was worried we weren't gonna get uh, all the weeds off it, but it looks like we did a pretty good job. Gertie already made it all the way out. We've already unloaded a quick load into her. Let's uh, get this around the corner here, and I'm going to switch out. I'm going to let her drive the combine. I'm going to start trucking. All right, you're on your own, Gertie. I'm going to get out of this thing, and uh, you can take care of it. Let's do this on the fly, all right? Get her out. All right. Hopefully, uh, she should be good with that. I mean, yeah, this, this TR-95 guy seems to be handling everything we throw at it right now. This is good. This is really this is a really good addition, actually. Uh, let's jump into the old Ford. And uh, we're just going to catch up to her here, and we'll take whatever she's got. She's got one load already into this thing. So uh, we'll probably have to take a little bit off this and see if we can... You know what? I got no storage still. We need to talk about that. I mean, really. Um, storage is going to be a bit of an issue. So I'm not really using this crop for anything. It's just wheat. I'm just selling this off. It's, it's profit to help us with our... Well, our other endeavors, of course. So I'm just selling this off right away. I 
if I stored it, I'm sure I could make more money for it, but um, guys, it is what it is. It is it is really what it is right now. And we can we can make money for it quickly right now. It's gonna help us push our uh, our new garment business, which obviously has other ulterior motives, but uh, things are working good. All right, there she goes. We got a little bit left to go in the truck here. Just let her come around that corner. Let's uh let's bounce on in. We'll catch up to her, see how much we can fill up, but I think this should be enough now. We'll just go down this uh, the rest of this row here. And I think we can go and sell this off, guys. I'm not, like I said, overly worried about this field. I'm probably going to come bail it later on as well. We could get some baby bales, go sell those off as well. The bigger problem with those, of course, is just going to be trucking them, which isn't the end of the world. There we go. Oh, filled up. Let's get out of here. Let's cut back onto the road. We could cruise into town, go sell off this green. Guys, so I guess word's starting to get out that uh, what we're doing out here. I mean, we got Gertie here working the combine, working the harvester, and um, somebody just showed up. One of one of Uncle Leo's friends just showed up to start doing some bailing for us. Uh, I'm a little confused on um, how they're finding out about this. Apparently, there's some people's been going to uh, going to the prison and checking out on Uncle Leo. Well, we'll uh, catch up on that in a sec. Let me empty this this uh, harvester out. We'll get all, all the grain out of the combine, and then uh, we'll see how they're doing over there in that bailing. But it's going to be a little bit of bailing going on back there, guys. You know what? I might be able to maybe I could sell it all in one fell swoop. Oh, that won't work. Never mind. Well, maybe we can attach that trailer to this truck. I mean, it's going to be a little bit much. I think we're going to get a few bales off this. They're only straw bales. They're, not, they're pretty much worthless. But, I mean, we're still going to we're gonna still make the money off them, right? We have to. Uh, let's get out of the way here. We'll see how she makes do around that corner. That little John Deere is barely enough power to pull all this. Uh, but it seems to be doing a decent job. She seems to be okay. I wasn't sure. I would have used the International personally, but hey, whatever. You got to help. You got to take it where you can get it. She, that's what she wanted to use. So, um, I guess we'll we'll let her go with that. You know what? It seems to be uh, working out just perfect. It's even stacking them proper, nice, nice and well. I like that. I mean, what are the odds? Oh, sorry. I'm in, I'm in your way. Let me get out of the way here for you. Nice guys. I like it. Uh, that works out pretty well. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. All right, guys. That's it. Looks like we got another load. Um, the bailing's going surprisingly well back there. I wasn't sure how that was going to work out for us. Um, you never know when you just have someone come out and give you a hand how it's all going to play out in the long run. But so far, they've uh, they've been handling all those little mini bales. And you know what? It's, I'm making them do the mini bales as well. So it's not like it's, it's easy by any means. I'm actually making it work for it today. But... Uh, Seems like that little John Deere, that 710, is doing a pretty good job with it. Now, I can hold almost two, two full uh, grain hoppers on that combine in this thing. So, I don't need to go right away. I'll go park myself on the far side here and just kind of wait around for a bit. We'll see how uh, the bailing's going. Yeah, there's there's a few bales on there already. <laughs> That's actually impressive. Um, I wish they were worth more. <laughs> Those tiny little bales, they're, they're almost worthless. But still, I mean, I've got to take it off, right? I just don't have a use for them. Yep, shoot them out, get them up on top. I can help stack a bit for a second while we're waiting for that combine, I suppose. Get these bales all up on top of here. Get on, come on, get up here. Get up on top, there we go. Get some more bales up there. There we go, perfect. So that bale trailer looks pretty full, actually, as well. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the rest of the grain on this truck. I'm gonna stop, uh, go take that trailer, the bale trailer, and see if I can do this all in one fell swoop. We'll, we'll stop harvesting for a little bit. And uh, we'll just leave it alone. But I think if I could do it all at once, it'll be just a little bit easier. Um, the bale's got to go a bit of a track away, so it'll be much easier if I just take it with the with the truck, of course. Yeah, see, it it, it might be a, like a master genius, big brain plan here, guys. To oh, spilling my spilling my my grain all over the place. It might be a, like a really big brain play for me to do this all in one fell swoop, right? It's like I got a master plan going on here. Oh, I think I'm. Full. Yeah, definitely full. Okay, let me just, uh, we'll just get out and have a chat here. We'll see if I can swap out with her. Grab that bale trailer. Yeah, no, you're good. You can just, just park it right, yeah, park it right there. That's perfect, right there. There we go. I'll just move this out of the way quickly, and then, uh, we'll grab the truck, and hopefully I can just, I think I can connect that truck right to that trailer. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, that'll work, guys. Let's go. Let's go take this, uh, let's go make some money from this, shall we? Not exactly the safest thing. You know what? We'll... We'll be extra safe. We'll put the hazards on. Sneak all the way in the back with this trailer and uh, drop off all our bales here, guys. Oh, that's going to be a tight little squeeze through this little gate. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We got this. Best best driver in Farm Sim. Bales unloaded. All right, let's go get rid of the grain. And another 15000 bucks for the grain. So 
Uh, 12,000 bucks for the bales, 15,000 for the grain. Oh, don't hit that trailer, please. Guys, that's uh, easy money for us, really. I mean, we've probably made uh, 65,000 bucks already from harvesting this field. I bet you we're going to be darn close to 100K once we're done here. Yeah, unfortunately, that one field, everything I'm making off this field, guys, I'd say it's already spent. It's already been spent. I'll show you that in two seconds. What? Well, we got to finish this field off, and then I'll, I'll we got to talk about the rest of my plan, of course. All right, back at her again. Perfect. Love it. So it looks like this is our last last little bit of grain to come off here, guys. Uh, Baling's about half-ish done, it looks like. I might have to go empty the trailer out one more time. But, um, guys, this is working out fairly well. Oh, I'm going to get covered in dust here, aren't I? Uh, maybe. It, will, maybe it won't be too bad. All right, let's see if she can unload. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unload all that, that that beautiful, beautiful wheat. That's perfect. So, you remember how I was telling you about the fact we had another plan, guys? Well, this is it. This is it. This is going to make us look legitimate. Like, we're actually a company. And, um, I mean, we're going to need this to get Uncle Leo out. Like I said, we can't just show up with that old beat-up truck and old flat deck trailer and expect him to uh, just hand, hand uh, let us hand over stuff and take garments away. It's just not going to work out. So... What we got here, we got an old Mac. This old Mac we uh, we got, but it also came with a matching 53-foot trailer, which is perfect. I mean, this could pass it. This, yeah, you could definitely pass this off as a business now, right? Let me uh, just back this in. We're going to load up our wool anyways. We got a bunch of wool here. I got to get take that over down and make sure uh, make sure everything's being processed. And uh, once we get this, this brought back in, then we're almost to the point now, guys. I think they were saying they almost got their first shipment ready to go down down to the prison. The first set of track suits. All right, it's track suits. And uh, yeah, we'll take that down, down to the old prison, I guess. Nice, like it. And yeah, the trailer's looking good. Let's just start... Uh, oh, we got, we got a bunch of wool to load in the back of this thing. There's just stacks of it here. I gotta shear some sheep still, too. You know what? I'd use the pallet jack, but I could I could just kind of slide it over and then get it up into the top deck there into those boxes. Works out fairly well. Get over there. Last one. We're about two-thirds full. That's quite a bit, actually. I, th I didn't think it was gonna be that full, but we'll take it. Sweet. All right, guys. So we're gonna take this back over. I think, like I said, we're almost to the point where we could start the, uh, the prison contract, at least, and really maybe work on getting Uncle Leo out of there now. I think we're there. It's just, it, we're, we just got to get this all done. Everything's got to be taken care of first. So maybe, maybe in the next couple of months here, we can uh, really put this plan into action. Oh, I got some bales to go unload over there still too. Yikes. Uh, looks like, yeah, she's pretty full. She's pretty full. But I mean, money wise, we're looking pretty darn good. We've got all the equipment we really need now for the most part to make this all work. I think guys, we've got the businesses up and running. Things are on the up. So Stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, I wanted to thank all the members, channel members. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so much for the support. You guys are amazing. Of course, if you're not a subscriber and you're new around here, it's your first time popping on in, make sure you guys go down to the bottom, click that big old red subscribe button, and uh, ring the bell while you're at it. And of course, you know what? Slap the like while you're down there. Every every like is helps the old algorithm. You know how it is. You guys, you guys know how it is, right? I gotta say it. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. We will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys then. This is Glutch. Over and out.